What's up everyone, today we are at the nature reserve in Flanders and we are going to do something a little bit different today. We are going to go into the park and find as many fun species as possible. So if you follow me, this is the entrance and as you can probably tell it's a little bit weird with electric wires and everything because there is a species I have never seen yet, a special cow species which we will hopefully find, but the chances are very little. So, let's go! Okay guys, we found our first subject. You won't see it yet, but there's a very large blue drone. But if you manage to capture some better uh, footage, you will see it right now in the screen, probably. So guys, this field of flowers is full of bee species. Well, at least one species. It are just regular honeybees. And it's just awesome to see that there are so many here. In this Karuna vulgaris fields are literally hundreds and hundreds of bees. It's amazing how many bees there are here. Apparently these bees are not honey bees at all. These are in English the name is spring mining bees. It's a solitary bee species actually. So they do not live in a hive like honey bees or anything. But they just search for food with a lot of them and are also vital for the health of the ecosystem. Here you can see another dragonfly. It's a smaller one, a lot smaller, but also the same blue coloration. Dragonflies are not dangerous to humans at all. They cannot sting or bite. Okay guys, in this little hole is something. It has wings and we think it's an ant queen. So this ant queen is probably fertilized, just had it a uh, nuptial flight and has found this little hole and it might just choose this hole to establish its first ant colony. Here we have found a first indication of the presence of the cow species. It's a shit! <laughs> but unfortunately it's not very fresh, it's completely dry. But if you look closer it's definitely a grazer because it's just grass, dried up grass. I think we have to go a little bit more off-road to increase our chances of finding some special species. Here I think I found a colony of European fire ants. If you close in, they have this red coloration and they're not as dangerous as you can see or not as aggressive I have to say. Because they can sting of course, but the sting is not as vicious as the tropical species. And I think the colony is inside of this piece of driftwood. We're not only looking for animals and plants, but we've also found some fungi. So beneath our feet is a very dense and complicated system of hyphae. And this species is, if I'm not mistaken, a russula species. And you see here are some, there are some, probably from the same and one organism also with some uh, symbiotic relationship with the trees which almost all fungi with, uh, with mushrooms have that's called mycorrhizae and here we have another species this is a scleroderma species and you probably know this one, it's like a puffball when you step on it and it releases all its spores, yeah, it's actually its way of reproduction to release all its spores as far as possible with the wind. So here we have some other species, the other ones were right there. I don't know the name in English but in Dutch it's Berkenswam. I'm not sure if it's edible or not. It lives as a saprophyte on wood, its hyphae go in the wood and can digest some parts. I'm not sure if it can digest lignin, but cellulose for certain it can digest and helps to break down um, wood in the environment. Just to make everything clear, this is just the fruit of the organism. The largest part of the organism is inside of the wood. Over here I've also found, if you see all my videos you will recognize this. This is a European oak tree. Baby! <laughs> With probably an an acorn down there, yeah, down there is an acorn. And I'm going to plant my oak trees also in different locations in Flanders. So stay tuned for that. Here we have found a lot of nests of solitary wasps. Every little sand 
hill you can see is a little entrance with the wasp inside of it or not anymore inside of it because we've just seen one of them flew out of this hole and there was a dead one so we can prove we're not lying well i hope it's dead yeah or maybe this is a prey because it actually looks like a honeybee mm -hmm. so maybe it's a prey because solitary wasps are hunters here by the way Tetramorium, this is an ant species. <laughs> Wait, but that might mean that it's actually still alive but just paralyzed uh, to, uh, also true. to be eaten alive by the larvae. We were wrong, we thought it was a dead wasp, but it's probably prey. So hey, I'm yeah, going hey. to leave it right there. There is one. As you can see, this is what we were talking about. To be very careful and quiet, do not disturb it. Going to try to go a little closer. Look at it, a fearsome killer, oh, it caught something, it caught a prey, it was already laying there and now it's carrying it to its hole. Now it's digging. And it just took its prey inside of the hole. There you can still see the yellow of its body. I want to take a moment to talk about this. These are called lichens. There are about 20,000 species on the earth. And this is actually a symbiotic relationship between a fungi on the outside and algae on the inside. It's also the food of reindeer in Alaska, in Canada. <laughs> and Humans can also eat it if you want, but it grows very slowly. The algae inside uh, provides glucose and photosynthetic products for the fungi, and the fungi provides protection. And a fun little fact, most of these algae can survive without the fungi, but the fungi needs the algae to survive. Here are two mating horseflies. I don't want to get bit. Oh, a nice little butterfly. I don't want to get bitten, but they're mating so they probably don't care. Okay, we want to reach a large pond, we we'll hopefully throw some aquatic species, but we do not have much time left, so we have to hurry up. Okay guys, we're very excited because first time in my life I've been here like dozens of times. First time we've seen the mythic cows of this nature reserve. So, we might not make the aquatic part, but we're going to try to go a little closer. So, one of the cows is already looking there. They always advise us to not go too close, so we're going to remain some distance because cows can be pretty dangerous. And as you can see, we're about 150 meters away now. So, let's get a little closer. We're going to stand here by the tree line. So they don't see us as a threat, or at least we are protected a little bit. I count about 17 cows, there are also a few cows, so the mothers will be very protective I think. They just live freely in the park, so they have a beautiful life here. Not too far away from the cows, we found a very weird looking spider. I don't know which species this is. If you know which species it is, leave it in the comments. Maybe you can see it very nicely. And it has caught a prey. And it seems to be eating on the moment. So guys, we're not going to make it to the aquatic park today because it's almost dark well. We have like an hour left or something. So if you want to see more content like this, leave it in the comments. Smash the like button. 
and then we can do for example an aquatic part just on the amphibians like the salamanders and frogs that live there or then another time another month for example we can do an episode on insects specifically or another episode on fungi whatever if you like this content subscribe it really helps because a lot of you guys are not subscribed i will see you guys next week bye